My name is Riya Sajid and I am a student of University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, doing my BSc Electronics Engineering and working as an intern under Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design with my fellow interns Sara Ibrahim and Myra Suhail under the leadership of Muhammad Umar Khan, Sumair Aziz and Su Zuhair Hassan Nakvi. I am here to present our paper Electrohysterogram based term and preterm delivery classification system. Talking about the introduction, the motivation behind this research was that preterm birth results in 75% of perinatal deaths, that is about 1 million babies die annually due to its complications. To proceed further, I would like you to know what is term and preterm. A term pregnancy refers to babies born after 37 weeks of gestation, whereas the babies born before 37 weeks are considered preterm, more commonly known as premature. Now what makes so difficult for a premature baby to survive? That is that it may have respiratory distress and other breathing complications, whereas the term baby's lungs are fully developed at 40 weeks of gestation. For a premature baby, at week 35, the baby's brain is, still needs to grow 50%, whereas the brain of a term baby has more definition, so the baby's brain is higher functioning. The preterm baby may not have enough body, body fat to regulate temperature until 34 weeks, whereas the term baby has enough fat and energy to regulate body temperature and other vital functions. The technique used was electrohysterography, that is a promising method for monitoring uterine contractions. It is a non-invasive method and it can be made as early as 19 weeks of gestation. Previously, the work has been done on the classification of term and preterm using the techniques like external tocodynamometry and intrauterine pressure catheters. Talking about the literature review, the research done in 2013 gave us the results of including sensitivity of 96%, specificity of 90%, accuracy of 95%, and an error of 8% using the methods of synthetic minority oversampling techniques and cross-validation techniques. Whereas in 2017, an accuracy of 96.25% was achieved using EMD and WPD. In 2018, 83.32% of accuracy was achieved using RQA, and in 2019, accuracy of 95.5% was achieved using EMD. Moving forward to materials and methods. The data set used was taken from the term preterm EHG database of PhysioNet. It contained 262 terms and 38 preterm EHG records and one record per pregnancy. The sampling frequency of each record was 20 Hz and three EHG channels were used to make each one minute recording, which were defined as channel one containing two electrodes, E2, E1, channel two, E2, E3, and channel three, E4, E3 electrodes. The pre-processing was done using EMD for removing the unwanted signals and for finding the region of interest, and then IMFs from two to five were selected containing the useful information. This figure shows the empirical mode decomposition of term EAG channel 1 and preterm EAG channel 1, respectively. In this figure, the term EAG for E channel and preterm EAG for E channel preprocess are shown, respectively. Talking about feature extraction, the features that gave us accurate results include log energy, total harmonic distortion, median frequency, quantile, Higuchi fractal dimension, difference absolute standard deviation, maximum fractal length, zero crossing rate, and Willison amplitude. We use the quadratic discriminant classifier. It is used in machine learning and statistical classification to separate measurements of two or more classes of objects or events by a quadratic surface. It is a generally a more general version of the linear classifier. Moving towards the results, we use 25% of the holdout validation to achieve the best results. Here, first of all, the results are shown in the form of performance comparison on QD using different feature combination. And different combination gave us different results and 98.5% of accuracy of best result was obtained by using the features that I earlier described. Next, the classifier comparison is shown. And here, the accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, and errors are shown of each classifier. And it can be clearly seen that QD gave us the best results. Lastly, class-wise accuracy term-based preterm shows that 98% of the preterm were 
detected correctly and 2% wrong and same for the term. I would like to conclude my presentation by saying that term and preterm classification using EHG signatures was done. EMD was used for pre-processing and segmentation. QD achieved the highest classification of accuracy, 98.5%. In future, we aim to increase the accuracy using the same data set. Thank you so much for listening.